Hi Fernhill School, it's Rihanna here and today we're going to make a fun sensory box activity. Now this sensory box is made from breadcrumbs so it's totally safe, edible and it's really fun to filter through and you can put a few little extra toys in that box and make a really fun imaginative game for your kids. Now this is a great opportunity to get a core vocab out, your device, your lamp, your pro loco, whatever communication method you use and utilise this in making the sensory box with your kids. Now when we are using the core vocab, it's a great way to model language to students. You can say in, put it in the bowl. And by referencing and gesturing to this visual while you're providing that verbal feedback, it's great. They have more understanding of what you're saying and they can build that knowledge and concept. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to start by talking about what we need for this experiment sensory box. We need a bowl to do our mixing in. We will need some breadcrumbs. And if you don't have breadcrumbs, that's fine. Grab a couple of slices of bread, pop them in the toaster, put them in the blender and it will work just as good. We also need a spoon so we can mix in our bowl. We need some milk. You only use a little bit of milk, so don't worry. We need some food colouring, whatever colours you like. And we also need a little bowl so you can mix your milk and your food colouring in before you put it in the big bowl. Now this is a great opportunity. You can ask your, your child, can we need breadcrumbs? What do you think is a breadcrumb? Where are the breadcrumbs? And they can find it, the first item you need. Or you could say, where do you think breadcrumbs would be? So where do you think they would be? And they could find them in the cupboard or wherever you store breadcrumbs. So we're going to start and we're going to put some breadcrumbs in the bowl. We're only going to use a little bit. Put a little more. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And we're going to put in our little bowl, in some milk. Now this will be a chance to do you want to put the milk in or should I put the milk in? So I'm gonna pour a little bit. Just enough that we can mix through the breadcrumbs without soaking them. We're going to need to put in our colors. If you have a device, you go to describe and go to colours and let them pick the colour they want or they can tell you verbally. However, whatever your means of communication is, I'm going to pick red today. So I'm going to put in to the milk some food colouring. I'm only going to put two little drops. One, two. 